What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video. We got ourselves a Life Orb Series 7 Lapras team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. But yeah, Lapras has been absolutely dominated before Season 7. And now that Season 7 has came into the picture, you've been seeing less and less of Lapras, but it's still a top tier Pokemon, which hopefully I can show off today. Rocking out in our front spot in the top left corner. We got Tornadus getting us going. He's our Tailwind Pokemon. He can also taunt. He has Hurricane for when rain's going. It's 100% hitting and then we got prankster ability protect as final move and the focus sash right next to him we got the one and only heart and soul of the team lapras with that shell armor so no crits are coming through we got that life orb item and then fairly normal move set for the lapras with the protect hydro pump blizzard and thunder beyond my face cam we got the one and only alolan malwak right here with the lightning rod that protects our lapras our draco fish is absolutely amazing for the lightning moves with that th thick club so it actually does more damage with protect flare blitz for stab shadow bone for stab and then bone meringue for its final ground coverage move draco fish right next one do i even have to say anything about this pokemon you get fishish friends off it's going to be able to rock out this thing's choice scarf so it goes first strong jar as its ability and then other moves are all covered with outrage psychic fangs and rock slide urshfu as a one of the top tier back end pokemon in the bottom left with unseen fist the choice band close combat wicked blow poison jab and sucker punch for the first turn priority and then one of my favorite pokemon to use on the online ladder in our final spot is ferrothorn over here i absolutely love this pokemon it can eat up you can leech it can just do so much and so much fun to use in my opinion it's got the iron barbs, leftovers, and then move set of power whip, leech seed, knock off for items, and protect. Guys, you want to try out the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy's got Heatran, Urshfu, alongside with Regilecki, Sableye, who is a great sport on Whimscott, and Glacier. Everybody knows we gotta watch out for that Glacier, and I kind of want to bring Malwak in just for that. Just for that instance, but I kind of want to check speeds before we actually get rolling here because I was actually curious about it. We got 179, 112, not bad. 82 for a Malik. Oh, and shiny, looking spiffy. 82 is not bad for a little Malik. Our team's not too, too slow besides, obviously, Parathorn, but he's just like a, he's just a bulky little tank. Um, Do I set up Tailwind? I feel like Tailwind's a great little thing to go here. Yeah, let's get Tailwind rolling here. Do I get Lapras off turn one? I could actually go Lapras. I got to bring the Malwax just in case that Regilecki is popping. Then I could swap out into the Malwax if I really, really want to. Lightning Rod boosts me up and then roll from there. I'm kind of liking that. And then Draco Fish in the final spot? Or I would rather have Urshifu over Draco Fish, in my opinion. Urshifu is just an absolute beast. Kind of liking that. I kind of like that, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Because I could always protect Lapras turn 1, set up a Tailwind, and then keep my Lapras in and swap the Malwak in. If that's if he leads Regilecki. But I'm, I'm, I'm just overthinking right now. I'm just going over the top. But, yo, if you guys are watching this, this might be my last video I upload before Christmas. So, hopefully you guys have uh, great holidays or whatever holidays you guys celebrate. Then we'll get back rolling on when Christmas is over. We'll get jamming out there. But, seriously, hopefully you guys have a great holiday. Enjoy, spend some time with the family, all that good stuff. This guy does lead Regilecki. I think I might protect Tailwind and then roll from there. That might be the play, or I might just swap here. I mean, I am Prankster, so I will go first. I will be able to get off a Tailwind, so I am just going to go here, and I am going to protect. See, Just see what this thing's doing. He might actually try to swap items with me. Let's see what he does. Let's go. Because I'm getting out of uh, what's called next turn all day long. I'm going to get out of uh, my Malwak, and I think I Dynamax Lapras next turn and drop Ice on somebody. But this thing is trying to trick me up. He's trying to give me an item. He's trying to give me an item. Electro Web's coming out here. We're going to block that. Tailwind is up, so he's just going to slow down my Regilecki. I can totally Lightning Rod next turn. Hmm. Do I keep Tornadus out here? I mean, I could, but what item are you going to give me? You might choice me. Actually, we can taunt you now. And then I could just swap, which is fair. Which is fair. Which is fair, because you're going to try a trick. And I think I just, uh, I think I just taunt. Taunt probably should have been our first play. We're gonna get Malwak out here. I think his turn's just gonna neutral out because he's gonna go for a trick and another Electro Web. This is my Taunt, and it doesn't affect Sableye. I'm so stupid. Trick's coming out here, and he's gonna give it to my Malwak now. I mean, I'd rather him give it to Malwak over anybody else. What are you gonna get? He's gonna get an Eject Button, okay. You gonna have my Thick Club, and Electro Web's gonna pop. Here goes my Lightning Rod. All right, so we have a Eject Button, so he's not gonna be our Dynamax Mon. I kinda wanna get a, back out, what's it called? I don't wanna get back out Lapras now. That's fine. We'll Dynamax Lapras. We'll throw it out here. We got a Tailwind rolling. Dude, I totally forgot Taunt doesn't work on that. 
Haunt does not work. The Lapras still has its uh, its life orb, which is dandy. And now I can just Dynamax, and I am going to drop a Resonance over onto uh, over onto Regilecki, because Regilecki can still hit Electro Whip, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to do that. And do I go for the Bones? No, nah, I think I just go for a stab move into uh, Save Life. Go Flare Blitz. Let's Flare Blitz this one. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. We're going to set up an Aurora Bell, which is going to be absolutely nice. But man, dude, if that Taunt would have worked, it probably would have been thriving, because uh, Thick Bone, or what is it, Thick Club, makes uh, Malak do so much more damage, which is awesome. He's so good, especially if you have him slower and you can roll a Trick Room with him. Bro, he's fire. He's fire. I remember using the team with him. He absolutely dominated. He'll, like, one-shot most Pokemon. But we should have speed. He's going to go for a trick, and he's going to give us the Thick Club and take my life orb. That's fine. I'd rather have that than the Jack Button, you know? I would totally rather have that than the Jack Button. And he, and he is going to drop a Leech Beam. Just setting up. And we are going to get off on a Roar Bell, which is actually really, really nice here. So we're going to be able to drop this. Do some damage on this thing. I don't think we're going to take it out. Yeah, no. We're not going to be able to take it out. But uh, Malwax should be able to take it out next turn. We're going to be able to drop a Flare Blitz over here. And I'm going to set the rain next turn as well. Get the rain rolling. Get the rain, yeah. Let's get it. Flare Blitz. Yeah. Get after it. Beal. Doing some nice damage. And he took my dang thick club. Kind of annoying. Actually, I kind of don't want to get the rain now. Hmm. Kind of don't want to get the rain now. Actually, yeah. We're going to get the rain. We're going to take out Sableye. And we're just going to go for a Shadow Bone over onto... Actually, we're just going for a Bone. Yeah, we're just going to go for a Bone over here. Let's get after Shredge Lucky. I'm sick of this thing. I'm sick of him. But it's crazy how fast uh, Reg Lucky actually still is. Even though we're both tailwind up. Like, Regilecki's fast. Tennessee comes out, and there goes my eject button. You buttery biscuit. Buttery biscuit. That's just going to leave what's called to come out here. Urshfu. He's probably going to try to drop a big electric move, there, which was actually kind of smart. Urshfu has come out here. What's called is going to go down here anyway. I actually know. Regilecki stays another turn. Thundercage is going to come out here. And then do we swap now? He's going to trap us inside that. This dude's actually playing really, really well. Here goes Geyser. I do have Sucker Punch, which I might just drop just to take out, uh, take out, uh, Regilecki. Actually, no, Urshifu should outspeed, but then Tailwind's, Tailwind should be up, right? I think Tailwind's gone. Stable drops. He still has Dino. This, this one, I don't, I don't know how this battle's gonna go. Thunder Cage is trapping us. Tailwind's gone. What do you mean? I definitely got a Sucker Punch. Actually, I don't know, because he might think I'm gonna swap. We can eat up another Thunder Cage. We can. We can 100%. But it really depends who he goes out in the glacier. And here comes his Dynamax bomb. It's kind of scary. This is definitely scary. I, might, I think he's going to set up a Reflect. I'm not even going to lie. I think he sets up a Reflect. So in that case, I might just double up into this thing. I cannot go for a Sucker Punch. I need this thing going. And that's a fact. Glacier is going to be... Oh my god. This thing's such a tank. So I think he is going to set up a Reflect. Sucker Punch is not going to work out here. But that dang Sableye. Taking my orb and my thick club? Bruh. Not liking it at all. Not liking it at all. And then giving us that eject bump. Because Regilecki should be dead. Regilecki should be out of the play. And we should be uh, doing a little bit better than this one. But let's see what happens here. He's going to protect. Cool. Well, I knew I knew he wasn't going to like, uh, gonna go for an electric move. We're going to close combat now. Do some big damage. Can we take out this Glacier here? This could be huge. If we can take out Glacier here, this is going to be huge. Here goes his policy. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Well, outspeed Lapras. I don't think out, uh, Lapras outspeed it does, actually. Oh, cool. Take it out. You got rain. You got stab rolling on your side. Come on. Take it out. God, this thing's so tanky, man. Why is it so tanky? Why? I just don't understand sometimes. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> this thing's so tanky, man thing is an absolute beast. Even with Life Orb, I don't think we're taking that out. That 1.3 times multiplier, I don't think it's taking him out. This thing's so good. He's too good. That's game, man. That is looking like it's going to be game. Lapras does outspeed. Lapras does outspeed. Actually, hold on. I'm saying there's chance. Lapras does outspeed. But Lapras, I think I got to protect Lapras. Do I have to protect Lapras? Because he might just go into a next turn web. Oh my lord, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. We have to drop Hydro Pump. 
have to get after you. We need this double kill. That's the only way of winning. We need this double kill. Reggie Lucky is definitely dropping Electro Web, which still hits my Lapras, right? Which is kind of weird. I don't like that. I didn't really know that. It hit my uh, Tornadus earlier in the match. Lightning Rock should just soak it up. I'm gonna withdraw Glacier. Okay. Okay. I should have protected Lapras this turn. You're gonna go out and eat Tran. Eat Tran. Reggie Lucky's gonna use Electro Web. Can you eat this up, Lapras? Yeah, I, I don't like that. That shouldn't hit me. That shouldn't be a thing. That should not be a thing. A double hitting electric move, even if it's lightning rod, should all get sucked in. That should be a thing. Boom, going to come out here. And, and Reg Lucky avoids. Reg Lucky avoids. What do you mean? Okay. I'm just going to save you. I'm just going to save you, Malwak. Save you from getting beat up on. We're going to go on one that first battle. That Hydro Pump would have took out that Heat Train. And, right? Yeah, probably. And then Reg Lucky shouldn't have got off that Electro. I don't like that, but that's the game. That's the game. Oh, I want to start off this battle. We're going to hop into our second battle and try to get our first win for this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got this one. Looking for our first win for this video. This guy's team's looking pretty dope. He's got the Glaring Moltres. We already know how strong that is. Dragapult, again, another beast of Pokemon. Colossal, if they can proc Steam Engine, weakness policy. Things ridiculous, which he could probably do with the Urshfu. We can definitely see that coming. Uh, hmm, Then he can drop a rock on me. That's a, that's a tough play right there. I mean, I could lead... Oh, I'm going to lead Draco Fish. I'm going to lead Draco Fish just for that instance right there. Just for that instance right there. I'm going to lead Draco Fish because we can Tailwind and then just absolutely dump on that. I'm going to go Tornadus and Draco Fish, see if we can get off early on. Um, Lapras, yeah, let's get Lapras in here. We can drop Ice onto the Dragapult, that Rillaboom, and that Glaring Moltres, which is huge. And then we got the Water to cover the Colossal. Oh, my God, and the Incineroar. He's super effective on, like, everything. <laughs> and then in the final spot, we go Ursha. I think Earth is just solid all around. As that Sucker Punch can rock out. Yeah. Let's get him in there. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I feel like we cover a lot here. We got the Tailwind. We got the Taunt. We got the Rip. We got the Fishish Ren. In case you want to lead that Colossal. You can just whoosh, get out of my face. Drop it down. i to go home. Because I think what he has is the Procket. is the Aqua Jet, right? If that's the Water Earth Fruit. I can't really tell him just by the sprites. But yeah. If he leads that, then this is why we have this Drake Fish ready to go. You know, Earth Fruit and Colossal. Yeah. Fair. Yes. That's all I got. Alright, so now we got my boy. That's Tornadus over here. And Draco. So we definitely drop a Fish's Run onto that left side. 100%. 100% drop a Fish's Run. We're gonna choice scarf into that. And then do I. I think I just tail one. I think we just start boosting speed up here. Just to make sure everybody else speeds and everything goes nice. So go ahead, Dynamax. I dare you. He does not. He's just gonna protect. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. I'm a tail one. And what are you gonna go for, fine sir? What are you gonna go, Urshfu? What do you got? What are you going to go for? This run's going to get blocked. Probably going to swap after this. I can see that happening. And he's going to go for a certain strength. Over onto Tornadus. Let's see. Go ahead. Hit up all my Tornadus. Tornadus should be good. We will eat up all three of them. Actually, is he? Yes. Beautiful. Alright, we eat up all three. Um, I think I just fish this random post that threat on that side again. I think that's a fine play right there. And a hurricane. If I can get off this, if I can land this hurricane, that's big damage. He might, he's probably has Aqua Jet, and he might uh, he might just take out my Tornadus and swap Colossal. But still, we're gonna we're posing big threats here. Come on, what you want? Tornadus already did his job. I get out what's called Ephraim. I get out Lapras Ephraim, and we get Ephraim. Yeah, see, he's gonna swap Colossal. Smart play. He's gonna get out and Cinnamon. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, buddy. Getting out in Cinnamon. That's fine by me. I think Urshfu takes out uh, Renatus with Aqua Jet. Yep. And then Fisher's Friend pops through, and then I get out my uh, I get out my Lapras and I start dropping ice. 100% play. Get that Fisher's Friend rolling. Oh, right. get out of my face, Incineroar. Get him out of here. That was a dumb swap. That was a very dumb swap. I, I was expecting more from this guy. I was expecting a lot more. Let's get out Lapras here. Um, I could set Rain. I could set Rain, but then that benefits him as well. But. We're fine, you know. Fish's Ren is, is going to be tackling up a storm here. I think he might go back out in the castle and try to proc. I think that might be his play. We might protect again with the castle. But I definitely got to... I think I got to drop Ice regardless. Or I could drop a Lightning on that Urshfu. I could drop a Lightning on the Urshfu. That Briss, my boy. My boy. He's going to get back out of Okay. So I think we... we uh, I think we just keep a Fish's Ren dropping here. And we definitely Dynamax. I think we drop a Lightning over on you. Because I, I do not want to double up into that. But at the same time, I really do want a... Uh, 
I really do want a resonance. I think that's the play. I think we drop this just to get the war bell popping. Instead of a lightning. Because I don't think lightning will KO by itself. It's not a stab. And this thing might protect it. And if he protects it, that's, that's a big turn for us. Now he's going to die max. Oh no, I'm dying max. <laughs> he's slower than us, but maybe not in the tailwind. We'll see. I think what's called might still be able to outspeed him even without the tailwind. The uh, drink of fish. That was a whack swap by him. I can't believe he did that. He was like, let me go Incineroar in this slot. Like, boy, didn't you just see we fish just rendered in that slot like a minute ago? And he's going to end up on Max, and that's going to be his play. He might guard. He might actually guard, which I would absolutely love. So how many turns do we have left in this? I think we have one more turn in a Tailwind after this, right? Because we went for two Fishes Rends, and actually this will be a third Fishes Ren. Yeah, this will be a third Fishes Ren, so we should have one more turn in Tailwind, which is huge. Now, are you going to Aqua Jet proc? He's going to Aqua Jet proc. Okay. I think Draco Fish outspeeds, and he takes him out. Right? Tailwind? Choice Scarf Draco Fish? Should we be able to outspeed this in? Right? Yeah. This thing should be dead. Get it out of my face. Get it out of here. It's not working. I think this was this guy's last ditch effort here. I think he was just like, let me let me try this. Because his back end Pokemon should be probably nothing. Let me actually see who it is. But we're definitely just dropping this. I should have probably lighting. But I didn't really know what he was doing. I definitely want to get off this at Warvel. Oh, lighting would 100% took it out. Forget how non bulky this thing is. But it could have been Sash as well. So Aurora Veil's popping up here, and I didn't really just want like a big old close combat coming in here. I can protect close combat into my Lapras. We get the Veil up, and he's gonna send out his final mon who is Moltres. Okay, see now this is where I find it a little weird. Where I find it a little weird. Is like You had Moltres to die next. It wasn't like you had a back end Pokemon who had nothing. But you cancel the battle, and we go one and one. We can hop into our third and final battle and look to get that winning record. Third and final battle, and I'm liking this dude's team. I haven't seen Salamence on the rank ladder since I used them when Crown Tundra first released. So this is pretty cool. We also got the Raladon. Haven't seen that in forever. Grimmsnarl, Clefairy, Rotom Wash, and Kartana. Okay. Um, how are we going to play this one? How are we going to do it? Uh, ch -ch -ch Lapras for sure. Lapras is just heart and soul this team. I guess the Clefairy, which I don't really like. I do not like that Clefairy at all. Hmm. I kind of want to show off Ferrothorn, but I don't know if Ferrothorn really thrives here. He has the dragon, the flying type. Um, hmm. Hmm. I gotta bring Urshfu. Gotta bring Urshfu. He rolls out pretty strong here. Uh, let's take Tailwind speed. He has no Trick Room. Uh, so we're gonna take Tailwind. And who do I think he's gonna lead? He might lead the Raladon. Hmm. Could go Draco. Draco's not a bad lead. Definitely want Lapras. Definitely want Urshfu, but I don't want to lead Urshfu. I might want to lead Lapras. Uh, la, 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 la. Might lead the Raudon, which is scary, so I might lead Malwak. I'm going to lead Malwak, go Lapras, and Urshfu. And say, Ferrothorn, sorry, but today's not your day, buddy. I absolutely love Ferrothorn, but today's not his day. And you guys know, like, you get Ferrothorn in the back end, or just, like, start off a good battle, start deep seeding. Maybe you have Iron Defense rolling on yours, you power up, and you can just roll out with him. He's... Actually, really, really good in uh, singles. He's decent in doubles, but like singles, he thrives in. He really does. Same thing with Tox Effect. Like, Tox Effect is an absolute beast in singles. And he's gonna go with a Salamence Clefairy combo. Uh, I'm fine with that. I might not Dynamax my. Oh, what's called anymore? My Malwax. I think I just. Do I just taunt? Or do I tail him? I think I taunt turn one. I don't want him really doing much. I'm just gonna protect. Yeah, I think I protect Maui because he's probably going to Dynamax the Salmon and start airstreaming something along those lines. I'm going to taunt this Clefairy so it can't really follow me, pester me with support moves, and then Tailwind next turn. Let's be our focus, Ash. As long as he doesn't drop, like, ice and get the buffets or a rock, we should be fine. And he doesn't Dynamax. Okay, cool. Does not go for Dynamax. It's lovely. And what is Clefairy going to do? Clefairy is going to protect as well, so I'm going to have to taunt again. I'm going to have to taunt again, which is a really nice play by him. Let's see where Salmon goes. Salmon, come over to my Maui side. Dragon Claw. Biscuits, man. He's gonna claw me up. That was better for me to go for a Taunt or a Tailwind. I have to choose one. Yeah, I Protect. I think I Protect and I just go for a nice little Shadow Bone over on this slot. 
and then decide next turn. That's the play. I don't think he's gonna Dynamax. I really don't think he's gonna Dynamax now. That was a smart play though by him. Gonna withdraw Clefairy. That's totally fine by me. We get this Protect off. Let's send out Rotom. So uh, now I can definitely go into a Taunt next turn. I think Taunt's the play. Oh, not Taunt. Tailwind. And he is gonna die. What are you doing? What are you doing? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! He's definitely gonna go after Malwax Slot, I feel like. Is he? Is he there? If he goes after Tornado Slot and he doesn't take us out, that's huge. But I feel like he can do 24 damage through, especially with Life Orb. Let's see, here comes Protect. Here comes my Protect. Don't you dare. Don't do it to me. You're gonna go for an airstream. Go over on Malak, please. Shoot. Eat it. Eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Now that's tough news. Now that right there is tough news. He gets a crit. He gets a crit. See, I, I think it might have still taken me out. Even with that. I do have Lightning Rod out here. I do have Lightning Rod, so I'm definitely gonna go into a uh, my Lapras and Dynamax. Oh, and this thing's Moxie boosted. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, baby. Leave me alone. Here's my Shadow Bone. You don't get a bone out here. Oh. Uh, so I'm thinking this thing might protect this uh, Salamence. I think Salamence might protect here. So you might get a Clefairy. That'd be smart. But do I risk that? Do I risk that? And drop ice over onto the right slot. Nothing Dynamaxing. But do I risk that? This thing does have protect. Does it have protect? I don't know if it does. It, it's gotta have protect. I might be feeling a protect, and then he might go into a clip air. I think we have to make that hard read. I think we have to make that hard read. So I'm gonna double up into this slot right here. A Shadow Boon. Because I really do think he's gonna max guard. And he's gonna swap into clip Fairy. Just so we can start using follow me and all that. And I don't think he swapped. Dude, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And I try to make some hard reads sometimes, guys. Does not does not prevail. Does not prevail. Hopefully he still guards. Hopefully he still guards me and we get a, we get a little bit of the read going. Oh, guard, guard for me, guard for me. Guard for me. Oh no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, man. That's that shit. Well, that's pretty much washes this one up. That pretty much washes this one up. We need to drop that ice on that thing this turn. Gonna go for a T bolt and oh, hold up. Hold up, lightning rod's popping. Malwack is popping here. Dang, dude, I really did th thought he was gonna swap. I really did think he was gonna swap. Try making a hard read. Uh, Shadow Boon should be able to come out here and pick up the KO, right? I think so. Not very effective. We get the Warvel popping. I can guard this turn. I can guard this turn. Lapras is just dropping down a little low here. Shadow Bone. As much as I want to guard this turn, I feel like I have to go for the Resonance here. I feel like I have to go for the Resonance. Man, dude, we had to dump on that Salmon. That would have been a big play. Now he's going to get a Clefairy. Not a fan. Not a fan. Now I think we guard. Yeah, let's guard here. Let's guard up, baby. Flare Blitz or... Hmm. Yeah, Flare Blitz. What's Flare Blitz this one? We still have our Thick Club. I do have to guard. Hopefully he goes after my Lapras and we can waste turn out here. He goes my guard. Or he might just hard read me. Which would be smart. There's Clefairy with the Protect. Oh my lord, this thing's protecting. Now follow me in. Here goes some Wormwind. Cool. We blocked that one up. Okay. I have one more turn left in Dynamax. This thing might just fly. It might just do its own thing. I don't want to double up into Salamence because again, he can fly. He can fly and just dip out on moves. There's a potential play. I think I just saw uh, Resonance over here. I have Flare Blitz with Shadow Bone. I think I Shadow Bone over onto Salamence slot. I think I am going to end up doubling. Because I think he's just going to go for Dragon Call. Follow me comes out anyway. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. We still have uh, Urshifu in the back, which isn't bad. Dragon Call's popping. That should KO. He's Moxie boosted it for days. For like nine days straight. And now who are we left? We are just left with Urshifu. Which I can start Sucker Punch with Might, which might have to be the plan. Dude. I made a bad play. I made a bad play trying to go for reads again. The easy plays win games, guys. Easy plays win games. So we get that big crit. Love Sid. Seriously, if we just dropped that ice on that thing, bro, we were thriving. We were thriving. We gotta get out of Urshi. Um, hmm. I got choice into a move. I kinda want choice into Sucker Punch, but at the same time, do not want to. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I gotta go wicked blow. Just shadow bone. Just double up in the salmon slot. He might protect the Clefairy. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do. What you do. But this one's pretty much wrapped up. He's plus two, and he's plus two on speed and attack. Plus two speed and attack. That is a nasty combo. He's like double dragon dance. It's insane. Clefairy does protect. Okay, I like that. I think he's gonna go for an EQ. I think that just wraps it up. <laughs> I think he just picks up the double kill and finishes us off. Not stab though. Eat up, boys. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying. You're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Hold up. Wait a minute. You did not just Dragon Claw me or go into a fly for the win? To guarantee you the win to take out one of my Pokemon? Hold up. Yo, wait a minute. Who's your last Pokemon? Who is it? Who is it? Show me someone Urshifu can dump on. It's Grimmy. It is Grimmy. It's Grim skis. And this is sitting tough because I'm not very effective on that slot. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to have to go for this Flare Blitz with that Thick Club. Pick that. Actually. Probably just going to sucker punch me. I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect. Protect comes out. Let's get it. And he might follow me this turn. Look at blow comes out. Let's get it. But fairy's gone. Okay. Thing is, he didn't go for that sucker punch, man. I really want him to go for that sucker punch. Go after my Mawak, please. Go after my Mawak. Spear break. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I really thought he was going to drop a sucker punch. Try to get after me. Warbell's gone. All right, Mawak. I need you here, buddy. I need you here. I need Flare Blitz to one-hit KO. I need it. I need it. Please don't tell me you're rocking sucker punch. Flare Blitz comes out. End him. Let's go, buddy. You got this. You got it. Big damage. No. <laughs> no. Oh, dude, that was a good battle. That was a really good battle. Definitely could have won that one if we went for the resonance. Just went for the simple play. We would have went two and one, but we ended up going one and two, having a strong third battle. Not a bad video today. Went one and two with this squad. Got to show off basically everybody except for Ferrothorn, but we still rocked out. At least we got ourselves a win, which is amazing. But you guys already know the deal. If you did enjoy this content, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.